how to use the image effect filters. So first of all, let's say that you have already created the scene, the, how, how you would like to use it, and uh, we will have to make the screenshot. But the best way to do this is to make the resolution of the game the maximum possible for your desktop. So I'm clicking the button Escape on my keyboard, and here I'm setting the resolution maximum possible for my desktop. This is 3820 42160. Okay, this is big. I'm going back to the game and I'm clicking the button F7 to make the screenshot. Okay, this is done. I'm clicking again the escape and going back to the, to the game. And uh, I'm putting back the settings, the previous settings, because this is much easier to work with this. So like this, I'm clicking OK and I'm going back to the game. Uh, the screenshot will hit, will appear in the captures folder. So I will uh, press the Ctrl X to take it off from here. I will click the button Your Content and I will open the folder with the images and I will make the Ctrl V here to put it here. So again, I'm going back to the game. I'm clicking the button Escape on the keyboard uh, and we are on the scene. But this is uh, not so. We will have to select the last scene, which is called Image Effect Filters, to make the settings of the images. So I'm selecting it, I'm clicking the button OK, and I'm going here to the scene where I will make the settings. The first thing which you have to select is the image which you would like to edit. So if you will click here on the drop down menu, you will see the image which you have just created, and you can select it. As you can see, it is here. Or you can select any other of the images which are here. So, for example, I will show it to you in this example. Uh, the button here is the refresh list. So, for example, if you have added some more images into the folder and you will have to refresh this so they will appear into the list. And here is the button open folder with pictures. If you will click this, you, it will open you exactly this uh, folder where we are right now with all the images which are created. Okay, so then. Uh, here on the right side are sliders. So the first slider is the scale. So you can scale the image if you, as you need. And also there are two more sliders which are the movement. So if you would like to pay attention, to pay more attention for some detail, like for example for this one, you can do this using those filters. I will give it back as it was and I will scale, go back, okay, like this. So we will continue working. Now, here is the great thing which is called color field, color picker. So if you will click this, you will be able to select any, uh, any color for your picture. So for example, this one, or you can change the color range and you can change like this, the color of the image. I will click cancel to not destroy it. Then uh, here is the drop down menu with the three types of filters. So the, so the first one is none, what is nothing. The second one is a uh, kernel matrix. So if you will click this here and the bottom will appear another option with the drop down menu for the presets. So first one is the custom. It means that you can create the preset as you would like using the sliders which are here in the center. The next one is the original. So this is the original which you have just like the, which is image in, it, in its original settings. The next one is sharp. So as you can see, it has changed. The next one is Edge. So for example, you have it here, but you would like to edit it. You don't like exactly how it is. So using the sliders, you can edit the already preset, um, preset which is already done. Also here is, for example, the emboss, the box blur, and the Gaussian blur. So like this, and you can edit any of them as you prefer. Uh, the next type of filter is the color matrix. So if you click this, as you can see, here appear also the drawdown menu, which is original. And then we have the custom as it was. We have the average gray. Here is the color matrix gray, the black and white, the invert, sepia, and here is the RGB. And also the last one is Polaroid. So like this, we'll go back to the original. And the last uh, one, the um, type of filters is HSVC. So as you can see, here are the last sliders. So you can also experiment with this. As you can see, this is changing. And the 
this is changing like this so experiment with the settings and make it as good as, as you want uh, if you would like to make your own settings so for example I will go back to the original site I'm here in the kernel matrix I'm in the original and let's say that you would like to make your own special filters so for example you can do this like this as you can see I'm changing the sliders I'm experimenting with the settings let's say I will move this one this one to the left let's say this one and let's say this one so I have created it like this you can experiment as you would like and make the pictures as beautiful as you want so let's say that we have done I will change the color matrix I will show it to you on the black and white let's say that you have done everything that you have completed the settings and you would like to make the screenshot so after you completed this you just click the button F7 then if you will click the button uh, open folder it, it will open you the folder with the pictures for me this is here this is captures and as you can see the picture is here it is done if you would like to continue working with some other scene and prepare for you the next image so you will have just to click here the button back you will go back to the main scene and by clicking the button escape you can select uh, the other scene which you want to work with and to complete working that's all.